Did you know that it takes 98,000 cores to kill a Fargoid Titan? We didn't know either until yesterday. When we went and did a little bit of research, we headed out with a couple of wings to Cuchillo, which is probably the most forgotten of all Titans right now, like dead quiet, so that we could basically measure the direct effects of what uh, we as a couple of wings did directly on war progression and use that data to back into some information as to uh, essentially how many cores are required to kill a Fargoid Titan at various damage resistances. And the first piece of information as shown in this chart that we figured is that it takes approximately 22 billion credits in bonds in terms of damage done to the cores to destroy a single heart of a single Fargoid Titan. Now, because the damage resistance varies, the amount of damage done uh, to cores, uh, from cores to hearts varies. And the bonds awarded uh, in, in terms of zeroing, getting each thermal core 0%, vary depending on the damage resistance itself. It starts at 1.8 million credits for Titans that are at maximum damage resistance. We've measured it also for extremely high which is 3.2 million, very high, which is about 5 million, and high damage resistances, which is about 8.2 million. And we can extrapolate based on the trend of that curve how it would go and how it would increase based on potentially higher levels of, uh, or actually lower levels of damage resistance. Now, we know that below high is moderate because that is how Tyrannus behaved in, in going from moderate to high. But unfortunately, the bonds were initially bugged for Tyrannus, so we don't have precise data at, at a moderate damage resistance level. But again, we can extrapolate. We also don't know what lies beyond moderate. If it is symmetrical, which you could think it could be, then from moderate, you would have low, very low, extremely low, and minimum. However, there is no guarantee that it is symmetrical. You could have only one step below moderate. You could have moderate being the lowest that it gets for all we know right now. I guess we will learn more after the server take this Thursday um, and after seeing what uh, what Legon goes down to since it has been reduced to four, potentially even just three control systems. Anyhow, we can extrapolate, as I mentioned, and based on the extrapolation curve, our best guess is that it would increase um, following this curve to somewhere in a range of 13 million for moderate, maybe 22 for low. And if these values exist also for very low and beyond, it would scale accordingly. But again, the whitish, creamish color part of this chart is speculation and extrapolation versus the blue side of this chart, is, which is instead hard data that we directly measure. So if, if this is true, and this is the damage with destroying, or rather getting to zero, a single thermal core uh, results in, and, and the bonds that it awards, then the flip side of this is that we can calculate the number of cores that it takes to take down a single heart at each damage resistance level. Uh, at max damage resistance, which I'm actually covering myself, like over here, at, at maximum damage resistance, that number is a staggering 12,222 cores per heart, which if you multiply by eight, since every Titan has eight hearts, gives you the headline title of this video, which is the 98,000 cores per Titan at maximum damage resistance. Those goes down progressively and pretty rapidly at extremely high, you quote, only, unquote, need 6,800 uh, 6, and change. At very high, it goes down 4,400. At high, it is 2,600. And then progressively, like we can extrapolate using a similar logic, it would be somewhere in the 1,600 range uh, at moderate. And if these additional states of low, very low, extremely low, and minimum exist, it would follow a progressively decreasing curve, we would imagine. Again, if the data on the first states is something that we can reliably extrapolate on, which we don't really know, but at this point, I think this is really anybody's best guess. Or if someone has a better guess, by all means, you can write it in the comments below and let us know. So this is really what to expect, and this, I think, is going to be reliable information as we uh, look to war planning against the remaining Fargoy Titans. Um, Legong is expected to go from the present state of uh, very high to at least moderate and potentially show us what lies beyond moderate at this server tick. 
And that's where realistically we expect most of the community to switch from sampling to hitting the, the Titan directly as that's where the numbers start becoming reasonable in terms of um, in terms of cores required to to destroy the Titan itself. Now, the question is, how long will it take? Everybody's asking, like, is this next week? Is it the following week? Is it going to take a month or a day? Or like, also because of the rewards mechanism that requires you to do at least 2 million credits worth of damage in the last week before the Titan goes in meltdown state, uh, which, which F that they introduced. So that's hard to estimate. I mean, what is a general, I think, good rule of thumb is that a wing operating at peak efficiency in a given instance will be able to zero a core roughly every four minutes, I want to say. So um, the implications of that is that in order to um, take down, let's say for the sake of argument that we go to moderate and we go to 1600 cores per heart, and that would give us what, eight times 1600 is 8,000, Let's call it let's call it ten thousand cores for the sake of argument overall, um, and let's assume that the first part is down. So that's because it's already at forty percent by then. So let's assume that we are somewhere in the let's call it eight thousand cores required range. Well, eight thousand cores, assuming you'd have I don't know something in the range of ten active instances at any given point in time operating at peak efficiency. The reality is you probably have more instances at peak hours of a the day. They're probably not going to operate at peak efficiency. So you kind of discount that on the flip side. But again, throwing out a guesstimate, let's say on average throughout the day, since since the server tick, you would have 10 instances that would be taking a core every five minutes per cycle. Uh, well, that would be two cores a minute. If it is what we say, 8,000 cores or two cores a minute, that would be 4,000 minutes that it would take. Uh, 4,000 minutes divided by 60 gives you about 66 hours. 66 hours uh, would be, as you could guess, divided by 24, about three days. Now, that is unto the assumption that we have 10 active instances operating at peak efficiency going uh, nonstop 24 hours a day, which maybe is a bit of an aggressive assumption, as I think we might have seen that for Tyrannus in, um, in the sort of like culminating moment of, of the really franchise, like the first time someone ever took a hardware Titan down. So maybe that is a bit of an aggressive assumption. I don't think that... Uh, Legong will be cleared in three days, although I should probably believe my own map and assumptions here and say that that this is not a completely unrealistic estimate. And if people do get going, I can see us starting getting at this kind of velocity. That being said, I think this is closer to what we've seen at Tyrannus level velocity, and that was like when the hype was at its peak and everybody was getting into the game. Now we have more players that have built ships that are capable of Titan bombing, so I think you'll be able to see more activity from a broader base. However, it's also less of a novelty for a lot of people. So I think you'll see fewer people participating at the scale that they were participating in at Tyrannus. So my best guesstimate is that it'll be somewhere around the week. So and my mouse says 2.7 days here. However, I will choose to sort of like fudge it and bump up that number to say that it's probably gonna be more in the five to seven days range. That's it. If anybody has a better guesstimate of, of how things will evolve for early going, by all means, please share your thoughts in the comments below. If this, you find this graph helpful, uh, by all means, please, uh, you're welcome to like the video and subscribe as that encourages us to make more videos and is always welcome. With that, glory to mankind, Commander Mekin, over and out.